Thank you very much, Sean. On March 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, the Kenora Winter Carnival will draw people from all around for a weekend of free, fun, fun family activities. That's right. You can partake in different winter sports, enjoy free food and live music, and witness some very unusual winter games as well. Drew is out at the harbor front in Kenora to introduce you to the sport of snow canoeing. Sure. A canoe is stuck down in the ice here in Kenora. This doesn't look like it's going to be going anywhere fast, but you may be surprised as this canoe will be racing across the ice along with many, many others at the Kenora Winter Carnival. Chad, tell us a little bit about the canoe races because this seems baffling to me. <laughs> Explain how this process works. It is quite fun though. Uh, basically, teams of four hop down inside on top of the ice, make a mad dash, run as fast as they can, the very far edge of the lake ice. Uh huh. All of them try and hop in at one time. It's kind of entertaining to see it because some don't quite make it in. Some sink. So just to clarify then, people are hopping into the canoes. There's going to be open water at some point and they may or may not get to stay in the canoe? Yes. Yeah, some people fall out. Some they just sink. And that's what? why we do have a EMS staff here too in case it's, it's too cold for them. Yeah. Okay. So uh, it's... How did this begin? Is this something like a new trend that you guys are starting? Has this been done for years in Kenora? It was done years and years ago. We just brought it back two years ago. So this is our third year back. And basically it's just us bush folk trying to keep warm. <laughs> well, you got to do something in the winter to break things up. And the Kenora Winter Carnival has so many great activities, but this has got to be one of the highlights because this is a great sport. So first of all, let's talk about um, spectators. Is there a, a most advantage um, vantage point? to be watching this from? The best spot would probably be on these docks here. These docks are just lined, filled with them, and these whole roundabout here up here is filled too. Okay, so uh, basically, as long as you're looking into the harbor, you've got a good spot of the action. Now let's talk about if I decide, hey, you know what? I haven't done anything crazy and cold this uh, winter. I want to sign up. What are the rules? What do I need for my team? Basically, it's a teams, teams of four, and each team must have one girl per team. Okay. You got to have life jackets. That's a guarantee because there's a chance of going in, of course. I think everyone would want to make sure they've got those. What else do we need to worry about? Um, registration is 50 bucks okay. and the chance to win 1,000 bucks. A thousand dollar prize at the end of the line? That's right. Holy smokes. Okay, so it's not just about glory. There is some serious cash on the line and everyone is going to be having fun. So we need those teams of fours, at least one female member. Um, I think we got everything that we need to sign up then, right? That, yeah, and one big rule is each person must cross the finish line. So one person oh. can't win it for the whole team. So All four have to. It can't be like an iron will when like the, like he falls down in the sled and then the dog just pulls him across. All the members have to finish at the same time. Yes. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. So this sounds like a pretty fun contest. We've got all of the rules and the details up on our website at breakfasttelevision.ca. If this is something that you want to get in on, either as a spectator or a participant, the Kenora Winter Carnival is the place to do it. Taking a quick break here from the carnival, but coming up later on BT, we'll have more of the highlights that you can enjoy this winter in Kenora.